Hello everybody and welcome to the F Word. Now today I'm going to be reviewing the movie Death Note while I'm playing some Overwatch. Just to kind of do something different for once in a while. Just so you guys don't have to be always looking at my face as I do videos. Uh, but yeah, I'm Anthony from the F Word and I'm just going to get into some pros and some cons of the movie Death Note. Uh, this is not a professional review by any means, so don't really take this to heart. It's not like, you know, I get paid to do this. This is just one fan of the series Death Note who watched the movie and has some uh, has some opinions on it. So, I guess we should start off with the pros of the movie, which, I'm not going to lie, it had some pros, it had some good moments. It wasn't just a horrible movie. I'm not going to say it was a great movie, but it did have its moments, and I'm going to talk about them, starting off with the character Ryuk, played by William Dafoe. So, for anybody who's familiar with the series Death Note, you know that Ryuk was always one of the strongest and most interesting characters of the series. He's uh, Shinigami, also known as a god of death, who is the guy who's basically started this whole... Uh, who started everything that's happened with this death note. He's the owner of the original book, and he's given it to light, and that's basically... I don't want to get into too much detail, because I don't know if people want to go in with a clean slate, as I did. I didn't really watch too much trailers for the movie. But uh, basically, Ryuk is kind of the guy who starts the whole mess. And uh, William Defoe killed it in this role. He easily stole the show. His CGI was great. His voice acting was phenomenal. And just like the look, he looked like a demon. He didn't look like, you know, like he looked like his voice matched his look in the movie. And it was just amazing. It all was so good. Uh, William Defoe, if you guys don't know what he's been in, he's been in uh, the original Spider-Man Sam Raimi trilogy. Or not trilogy, just the first one in 2002. He played the Green Goblin. Uh, he's going to be in Justice League, I believe. He might, his role might have been taken out. Uh, but he'll definitely be in Aquaman. I don't know exactly what his role is. I know it's been announced. It's, I don't know, I just forgot. But he's been in all these kind of big blockbuster movies. And having him in this movie, you definitely like felt his presence. It was just amazing. He was definitely the highlight of the movie for lots of fans, including myself. So I took brushed upon while talking about William Defoe. The CGI and special effects in this movie were actually like really good. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, the first scene where uh, Light finally kills someone and the guy gets his head decapitated by a ladder. It was just amazing. It was like it looked so realistic. I assume I haven't seen a guy personally get decapitated with a ladder, but if I do, I think it would look something like that. Uh, but yeah, the CGI was really good, especially for Ryuk. He's kind of the only thing that really needs CGI. Well, I guess. The biggest thing that really needs a CGI. But yeah, th that and the special effects were just amazing. Like, it looked so realistic. They, You could definitely tell that was, like, where their main focus was. And it was just really good. Really well done. And you gotta give them props for that. Even if you didn't like the story, or even the movie, as many people did. They, even, like, a lot of people admit that CGI and the special effects were just really good. And speaking about the good story, I'm not gonna lie. It was a good story. Like, it was executed poorly. But the story was really good. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you guys aren't familiar with Death Note, the story is essentially... Uh, so, Ryuk, the god of death, is bored, so he drops his Death Note to the human world, and Light Turner, in the movie, picks it up, and he... Uh, in the movie, I, I think a mobster killed his mom, so that was kind of his motif behind, you know, using the book. But he uses it to uh, attack criminal, not attack criminals, to kill criminals, by writing their name and having their face in mind while writing it in the notebook. And if he doesn't specify the cause of death, they just die of a heart attack. If he gets more creative, uh, they die by how he writes it. So he basically starts off by killing this mobster who killed his mom. And then he thinks like, hey, I could clean up the whole world if I really wanted to. And he starts, or he attempts to do that. But when I do say attempt, I'm not going to really spoil, but you kind of know where this goes. But the story was really good. It was really well done in the anime. It's... In the anime, they dive way deeper into it, and like a lot of people, including myself, thought that it'd be more close to the anime. Which, if you did think it was going to be close, to more like if it was going to be uh, following the source material more, you were going to be disappointed, as I was. But I'm not going to say it was bad because it didn't follow the source material, because I do like how it was more original rather than it just being a carbon copy of something I've already seen. Now I know a lot of fans were actually disappointed that it wasn't a carbon copy of the anime, which is understandable but it's like not realistic like the movies around an hour and 30 minutes long and the anime is you know 37 episodes in to in length and is like around 30 minutes each so that's around 12 hours and if you thought that an hour and 30 minute long video could do that justice you just 
you were setting it up to fail, you know. I I didn't really watch a lot of trailers, as I said before, so I was expecting a kind of a carbon copy thing, and I was expecting a lot of plot points to be brought up, which they weren't. And I didn't. that's not a reason why I didn't like the movie. The reason I didn't like the movie, I'll talk about more in the cons point, but for just, we want to stay positive, you know, in the pro. We don't want to start bashing the movie yet. But altogether, uh, three of the main pros I saw in the movie, or at least what I thought were, William Defoe's Ryuk, he was amazing. He killed that role, no pun intended. Uh, the good story, because it did have a good story, but it was poorly executed. And the CGI and special effects were absolutely amazing. So now going over to the con side of things, which every movie does have cons, it's not like, you know, surprising thing, like, oh my god, this movie has faults, it's a horrible film. Because, you know, every film does have its flaws. Uh, I'm going to start it off just by saying Light and L. L is a super smart detective who is trying to crack this Kita case, and uh, he, I don't want to spoil too much, I'm not going to say anything, but basically in the anime, their dynamic was like a cat and mouse kind of thing, you know? Like, L was trying to figure out if Light was Kira. Ki like, Light was trying to prove he was innocent. But in, like, one of the first scenes where they meet, uh, they're just sitting at this diner, and L comes out saying, like, you know, I think you're Kira. And Light's like, okay, well, what are you going to do about it? And it's like, if you're a serial killer who doesn't want to get caught, you want to, like, put up a bit more of a fight. So, you know, this super smart detective who's cracked so many cases, you know, doesn't turn you in. But no, he doesn't even try to hide the fact. He's like kind of Batman. If you've seen these Heshi videos where he's like, do you want to know my secret identity? And just tells everybody left and right, which is actually a thing that happened when he met his uh, love interest, Mia. They were just sitting at the bleachers and like, hey, do you know what this book is about? She's like, oh, I'm good. Okay, I'll tell you. To, if I write someone's name, they die. I'm like, you're in the middle of a public place. Why are you revealing this? There are a lot of plot, there's a lot of plot holes in this story, in this movie, but... I'm not gonna lie, I still enjoyed the film. But yeah, Light and Elle's uh, dynamic in the film were just really tainted because it didn't feel like they were cat and mouse, it just felt like they were kind of just there talking to each other and didn't really feel like Light was really on the run from him, it didn't feel like he was really threatened by him, and it didn't feel like Elle was a force to be like, you know, reckoned with. It kind of just felt like a basic standard kind of cop trying to catch bad guy story. Now, I was talking about uh, Light's love interest, Mia, but in the anime, she's known as Misa Misa. Now, the thing I didn't like about Mia wasn't just because they changed her character from the source material, because as stated before, I really didn't care that they decided to have a new take on the series Death Note. The thing I cared about was that they really compromised her whole character. Like, in the anime, she, like, is totally in love with Light, and she'll do anything, like, she can to make him happy. But in this movie, it felt like she didn't really care about Light, she just cared more about the notebook, and she wanted... She was just using light as a way to get it, which... It was interesting to see a new, like, kind of take on her, but it felt... It was just too weird, because it felt like light and Mia's characters kind of switched roles, and it just didn't really make sense. Uh, but I do have to admit, I did like the fresh take on her. It just... It just didn't work in the story they were trying to set up, how they were trying to keep it like the original somewhat, but have it be new but kind of have two characters who both want to use the textbook, have two, essentially having two lights, but not having this caring girl who's trying to, like... If you see the anime, you kind of know what I'm trying to get at. If you don't, this totally makes no sense to you. But Misa Misa's kind of like the caring factor. Like, she's always after light. She, well, he can use her as a tool to get what she wants. But Light and Mia, they're both trying to use each other at the same time. It's just not working. It's really awkward to see on screen. And just, you didn't really care about the relationship. It kind of just came out of nowhere. And it didn't have time to kind of set itself up. So, like, it's just, like, nobody really had time to react to it. And nobody really cared what happened to the relationship. And that's about it for my list of pros and cons for the movie Death Note. And trust me, there are a lot more for both sides. It's just, I'm not a professional movie reviewer. I don't really want to bash a movie too bad and honestly those are just really the things that stuck out of my mind that's the thing i kind of took away from watching the film and uh is it a bad film no is it a good film also no it's just a film that you don't really have to think about when you watch it's an interesting watch it's definitely it's definitely something you want to see like it's not really a story that's been told it's kind of a new take on a really classic anime but it's still like not an overdone story you know it has new plot twists new everything. 
It's really interesting. I really enjoyed it. I read it a 7 out of 10. This is just me basing it on a movie itself, not basing it compared to the anime. I know a lot of people who watched the anime said it was like garbage, didn't even deserve a rating. But at the end of the day, it's just a film, okay? It tried to do this huge story. It tried to like take on this huge classic. And it had, it was like Batman vs Superman. It had expectations that could not be reached no matter what they did. And at the end of the day, they tried their best, but obviously they were kind of set up to fail from the start. And that's been my uh, mini review on the Death Note movie. To kind of sum it up, my pros of the film were William Defoe's Ryuk. He definitely stole the show. The good CGI on it. Uh, and the good story. It was a new story. It still is a new story. It hasn't really been done in any other kind of Hollywood uh, you know, film or TV show that I've seen. And then some cons were just L and Light's dynamic. They completely changed. And L's character was really, really different from what he's supposed to be. I did like the actor for Eldo, I will say that. Eldo's actor was really good, despite, you know, the racial change, but that didn't really affect anything, just his appearance, but I didn't really care about that. And then the character Mia was just, she was just totally different, it just didn't work in my opinion. But yeah, that's been my review. Uh, let me guys, let me know what you guys thought. If you guys were a huge fan of the anime, or if you haven't seen the anime and you just saw the movie and you thought it was a decent film, or if you thought it was horrible, let me know in the comments below. I've been your host, Anthony. Thank you guys so much for watching. And also, this is kind of a new thing we've been trying out with video games over review. Uh, G was uncertain about it. I'm uncertain about it, but I just thought, you know what? Why not give it a try? Do you guys like it or dislike it? Let us know in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.